hello everyone how are you doing in this video i'm gonna make a short video i'm gonna apply double integrals to evaluate volume of uh, solids and uh, remember in calculus 2 we took a semicircle which was x squared plus y squared equal to r squared and solve for y which was equal to i took half of it not a plus minus and I put R squared minus X squared, and I use the disk method, or you use the disk method from negative R to R, to find, revolve that semicircle along the X axis, and you find the formula for the volume of a sphere. And the volume of a sphere was 4 third of pi R cubed. You have no issue to find the volume of a sphere. Very easy. But what happens if I take a plane and cut that volume and say part of my sphere like equator and above? Even if the equator and above is a semi-sphere, I can take 4 pi r third square and divide it by 2. But what happens if that plane is tilted in a 45 degree or somehow is not symmetric and I want to find the part maybe 30 degree and I want to be able to find the volume under that plane? Or what happens if I have a cone and I know the volume of a cone is exactly the volume of a cylinder with the same height, with the same base radius, and the volume of a cone is pi r squared times height, and if it's a volume of a cylinder, and if it's a cone, there are three cones in a cylinder, you divide it by three. But what happens if I give you a solid that is not geometrically built and is not regular. Maybe I said the height of my solid x times y. Means if x and y is 1, the height is 1. If x is 2 and y is 3, the height is 6. If the y is x is 4 and the height is 5, it becomes 20. But I have to give you the what? The, the region. I have to give you the piece of property to build a building in it. Therefore, the piece of property I'm going to say is y equal to x and is x equal to 1. The first octant. We talk about the octant because if you have x, y and a z plane, in here the z is positive. You have 1, 2, 3, 4 octant and then you have Four underneath of the disk, you have eight octant. In this octant, x and y and z are positive. Here, your y is negative, your x is negative, your y is positive, and your z is positive, and so on. First octant, x and y are positive. Therefore, I'm going to go to the x and y axis, and I'm going to say this and this. First octant, you cannot come below, because here x is ne uh, uh, y is negative. That's my region. I said, this is the piece of property you have. Find the volume of a solid, which the height is given by that. The point of intersection here is one and one. Therefore, the height here is one. The height here is zero. The height here is zero. And the height here changes. And the height here is always going to become, because your x is one and your y is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, you know, is increases. Okay, first let's talk about finding the area. Area, you have two options. You can either divide this one into a vertically simple. When I said vertically simple, you make your x fixed. Therefore, you go from 0 to 1. And then your y changes. Your y, the lower limit is y equal to 0. The upper limit is y equal to x. Because you made your x fix, the dx go outside, the dy goes inside. This is exactly the volume of the region, or is the volume of the property you purchase. I didn't say, I'm sorry I said volume, the area. Easily you can find the area right now. You want me to tell you what is the area? All you have to do, find the antiderivative of 1 dy, which is y, from 0 to x. And this is x, therefore you go from 0 to 1 x dx and that become x squared over 2 from 0 to 1 therefore the piece of property you purchase is 
half an acre. But I want to know what is the volume of a solid when you build the house and the height is different at every given point. Oh, if you want to find the volume, then you have to take the area multiplied by the height. Therefore, this one, let me see if I can do this one respect to y. Yes, respect to y, x is constant because x is constant and x is not going to be integrated first. First, you're going to integrate respect to y, and x is constant. You can move your x just like a constant multiple. You bring it outside. And what is the integral of y respect to y? Is y squared over 2 from 0 to x, and that becomes x squared over 2. Then right now you have an x, x squared over 2, dx from 0 to 1. 1 half is a constant multiples and anything bother me on the in, inside uh, in the integrand and move it outside if it's a constant and I have x cubed dx from 0 to 1 and that's nothing except 1 half x to the power of 4 over 4 from 0 to 1 and the volume is 1 eighth of u cubed. Therefore I'll find the volume of your house. That's your volume. Somebody else going to say what happens if I have x squared plus z squared equal to 1? And this is nothing except this graph is a graph of a unit circle on the x direction and on the z direction. Therefore, your z is 1 or negative 1. Your x is 1 or negative 1 or negative 1. This is the circle. I'm going to give you another one as x as a z squared plus y squared equal to 1. That is a unit circle. But that unit circle is on the y direction and the z direction. 1, negative 1, 1, and a negative 1. And it's going to be right here. I'm going to ask you to pick up the first octant. First octant. And from the top, look at my graph and see what is the projection of this solid on the xy plane, the projection of it. The projection in xy plane means z must disappear. Therefore, what is your z squared right here? Is 1 minus x squared. If you put, instead of that z squared, 1 minus x squared equal to plus y squared equal to 1, therefore, that 1 and 1 is gone, y squared equal to x squared, therefore your graph is y equal to x. Somebody said, where is your plus minus? Therefore you have a positive and you have a negative, but you need only the first octant. Therefore the first octant, I'm going to do this, therefore the projection on it is right there. Because your x is 1, your y is 1. Remember that it's not only one piece because your x is 1, your y is 1. Therefore, the projection here is going to be look like that is square right there. Okay, therefore, I'm going to find the volume of this one and double it. Therefore, I'm going to make my x fixed. Somebody said, I want to make my Y fixed. Well, it's not hard, it's easy. But in here, you have, instead of writing Y equal to X, you have to say X equal to Y. And you have to go right on the upper limit and left as a lower limit. Here, the bottom is a lower limit, the top is upper limit. Your X is fixed. Your Y goes from 0, Y go to 0 to X dy dx that's your area of that piece i'm going to put right here and i'm going to double it that's the area of the whole thing but if you go right here and say what am i going to do for my height you can go here and solve for z and say one minus y squared and if you put 1 minus y squared, you are in trouble. Because you cannot integrate this one respect to y because you need a negative 2y. But this would help you 
if you make your y fixed from 0 to 1 and your x go from 0 to y, then this become a constant because you're going to do it respect to y x first. Oh, therefore, if you use this one to give you the height, your order has to be dx dy. But if you want to do dy dx, you have to use your z as a square root of 1 minus x squared. I'm doing first octant only. First octant. Therefore, I only take the positive. Therefore, for that one, I put 1 minus x squared. Both of these going to give you the same answers. No different. Therefore, you have to determine which order you used. Based on that order, you have to determine your z. If I do this one respect to x, this is a constant. And what is the antidote of y is x. And your x is from 0 to y. And this is the y. And see, you gave birth to the drive of the u. Then you can say from 0 to 1, double it, and y square root of 1 minus y squared dy. And I'm sure you can finish this yourself. But if I do that one, it becomes 2 from 0 to 1. When I do this one respect to x, that becomes a constant. What is the integral of 1 respect to y is y. From 0 to x, it become an x. Then you put x over 1 minus x squared dx. I bet you you can do that one too. Therefore, you have to be very careful which order you are using right here in order to solve the problem. Okay, let's do another problem. Another problem maybe they gave you z equal to x plus y. And x squared plus y squared equal to 4, and I'm going to do the first octant. I don't have any issue with this, because the region is already given. The piece of property that you're going to build the house in it is already given. And this is nothing like a circle with a radius of 2. Therefore, your lower limit for x is from negative 2 to 2. But your y value, you have to solve for the y, which is a square root of 4 minus x squared plus minus. It becomes negative 4 minus x squared, 4 minus x squared, dy dx. This is the volume. And your, that's your area times the height is a volume. But unfortunately, this is the volume of a solid if your property is the whole circle. But I only need the first octant. First octant, x go from 0 to 2. Your y also go from 0 to that curve. You have to be very careful, use the given information. And this is not hard to do because this one is, <coughs> you can do this one respect to y very easily because your x is constant. It becomes xy, this become y squared over a 2, and that's from 0 to a square root of 4 minus x squared. Therefore, you have x square root of 4 minus x squared plus your y squared is this. The radical goes away over a 2. I mean, you plug 0, it goes away. Right now, you have go 0 to 2 dx. This is doable by u substitution, and this is doable by the power rules. You see, the problem is that not hard to do if you learn how to graph your region. Region is the one you have to understand when you're doing the volume. Okay, let's do another one. And uh, we finish the video with it. If we do 
problem like z equal to x squared plus y squared. And the piece of property you purchase is a circle with a radius of 2. And remember your z is 0, means you are talking about the whole property here on the ground because your z is 0. Then if I want to solve that, my height is x squared plus y squared. My area, I can put either dy dx or dx dy. If you make your x fixed, you go from negative 2 to 2. And your y goes from negative square root of 4 minus x squared. I'm solving for y. And 4 minus x squared dy dx. And if you want to do dx dy, your y is fixed from negative 2 to 2. Your x is from negative square root of 4 minus y squared and 4 minus y squared. But your z does not change. And I have a bad news for you. This problem... If I want to do it, it's not easy, so complicated because this becomes x squared y, and, and I'm sorry, this one, x squared y, and your y is from here to here, and then that becomes only x squared times square root of 4 minus x squared. I don't know how easy it is to integrate that one, but there are certain cases that your region is a circle, is round. And sometimes we can go and think about, instead of dividing this one into a rectangle, like these, like these, and take one of these and multiply by the z, I can take this plane and divided it like a piece of pizza. Mm, mm, mm. See? And my R, these are my different R. And I'm going to find the volume of one of these pieces and sum it up. Oh, volume of one of these pieces. Yes, the volume of one of these pieces. Well, if R here is 1 and R here is 2... Therefore, this is the change in R. From 1 to 2, this is change in R. But this is nothing except the arc length, R times theta. But remember, the theta is from 0 to 2 pi. I cut it in pieces. This is not the whole theta. That's part of a theta. I call it d theta. Therefore, when you write here, and you're going to a sector, and you're finding a piece of a sector, that piece of a sector does not look like a square or rectangle. It's arc length times the r. That's the area. Therefore, that area is r d r d theta. Then easily you can come back in here and replace the dx dy with r d r d theta. Replace this one because remember, whenever you're talking about the circle, your if this is r, this is your y, this is your x, x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Therefore, instead of x squared plus r squared, I put r squared. But I need it respect to r. Your r, the minimum here is zero. And this one is x squared plus y squared equal to 4. The maximum is 2. Your r is from 0 to 2. Instead of that one, you put r squared. Instead of dx dy, you put r d r d theta. And instead of a theta, I go 0 to 2 pi. Because it's a whole circle. What happened was half of them. You put 0 to pi. What happened if it was a quarter of them? 0 to pi. This is called changing a Cartesian which is hard to do to a polar form. 
And that's what we're going to do in the next video, that if you do have a Cartesian, and the Cartesian dealing with a region, and that region can be changed to a polar form, we're going to use, instead of dx, dy, or dy, dx, or dr, d theta, and our next video, I'm going to do the proof again, and we're going to use polar form to graph it, because that's easy. What is this? That's r cubed, become r to the power of 4 over 4, r to the power of 4, it becomes 2 to the power of 16, and respect to the theta is theta, 16 times 2 pi is 32 pi. That was my answer, and I'm done. Thank you.